levying of taxes or taxation. The government makes many plans for the development of the country. It requires large amounts of money for implementing these schemes. By charging different types of taxes, the funds are generated for implementation of these schemes. Types of Taxes Direct Taxes Indirect Taxes Direct Taxes Taxes which are paid directly by the taxpayer are called direct taxes. Examples Income Tax Wealth Tax Profession Customs Duty etc. Indirect Taxes Taxes which are not paid directly by the taxpayer are called indirect taxes. Examples Central Sales Tax Value Added Tax Service Tax Excise Duty etc. The types of taxes listed above are in accordance with the existing tax structure. Project Obtain more information about different types of taxes from employees and professionals who pay taxes. Let's learn. Income Tax If the income earned in India by an individual, institute or authorized industry exceeds the limit specified under the Income Tax Act, income tax is levied on it. Income tax is levied by the central government in India. Income tax is levied under following two acts. 1. Income Tax Act 1961, which came into force on 1st April 1962. 2. The Act passed every year by Parliament, which makes financial provisions. Every year sometime in February, the Finance Minister presents the budget for the next financial year. It has proposals for the income tax rates. Once Parliament passes the budget, the proposed rates become applicable in the following year. Income tax rates are fixed every year in the budget. Some income tax related terms. An SSE. A person liable to pay income tax according to the income tax rules is termed an SSE. Financial year. The period of one year during which the taxable income has been earned is called a financial year. In our country, at present, the financial year is from 1st April to 31st March. Assessment year. The financial year immediately following a particular financial year is called the assessment year. The tax payable for the previous financial year is calculated during the current year, that is, the assessment year. Financial year and assessment year will be clear from the table below. Financial year 2016 and 2017 1st April 2016 to 31st March 2017 Its assessment year is 2017 to 2018 Financial year 2017 to 2018 1st April 2017 to 31st March 2018 Assessment Year 2018 to 2019 Permanent Account Number PAN On applying for it, every taxpayer gets a unique 10 digit alphanumeric number from the Income Tax Department PAN We are required to mention this number in many important documents and financial transactions. Use of the PAN It is binding to write our PAN on the Chalan used for paying our income tax to the IT department or our income tax returns and other official correspondence. PAN card can also be used as a proof of identity. Computation of income tax. Let's learn. As income tax is a tax levied on income, it is necessary to know about the different sources of income. There are five main heads of income. 1. Income from salary. 2. Income from house or property. 3. Income from business or profession. 4. Income from capital gain. 5. Income from other sources. Gross total income. Important considerations for computing the income tax payable by a salaried employee. The total annual income, that is, gross total income, is taken into account for calculating the tax payable. According to the sections ATC, ATD, ATG, etc. of the Income Tax Act, some deductions can be availed from the total annual income. The amount remaining after these deductions are made is called taxable income. Income tax is levied on this taxable income. 
every year the rules for computing income tax are changed hence it is important to know the latest rules when actually calculating the tax payable no tax is levied up to a certain limit of taxable income this is called the basic exemption limit farmers income from agricultural produce is exempt from taxation under section 80g of it act donations to the prime minister's relief fund chief minister's relief fund and certain other donations recognized to institutions or organizations are exempt from taxation under section 80d installments of premium for health insurance are exempt from taxation generally the maximum permissible deduction to various kinds of savings under section 80c is rupees 150000 deductions from annual income according to various rules general provident fund gpf sukanya samruddhi scheme for girls rupees 1.5 lakhs investment in the post department for 5 years national saving certificate scheme nsc life insurance policy lip health insurance tuition fees for two children public provident fund ppf housing loan principal mutual fund tax rates according to age of taxpayers are fixed in each year's budget samples of tables showing tax rates for different income slabs are given below table 1 individuals up to the age of 60 years taxable income slabs in rupees up to rupees 250000 income tax is nil education cess is nil secondary and higher education cess is nil taxable income slab rupees 250000 and 1 to 5 lakhs the income tax is 5% that is on taxable income minus 250000 education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax taxable income slab 5 lakh and 1 rupees to 10 lakhs income tax is rupees 12500 plus 20% on taxable income minus 5 lakhs education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax taxable income slabs in rupees more than 10 lakhs the income tax is rupees 1 lakh 12500 plus 30% on taxable income minus 10 lakhs education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax surcharge equal to 10% of income tax payable by individuals having an annual income of 50 lakhs to 1 crore rupees and 15% of income tax by individuals having an annual income greater than 1 crore rupees table 2 senior citizens age 60 to 80 years taxable income slabs in rupees up to 3 lakhs income tax is nil education cess is nil secondary and higher education cess is nil taxable income slab 3 lakh and 1 rupees to 5 lakhs income tax is 5% that is on taxable income minus 3 lakhs education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax taxable income slabs rupees 5 lakh and 1 to 10 lakh rupees income tax is rupees 10000 plus 20% on taxable income minus 5 lakhs education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax taxable income slab in rupees more than 10 lakhs income tax is rupees 1 lakh 10000 plus 30% on taxable income minus 10 lakhs education cess is 2% of income tax secondary and higher education cess is 1% of income tax surcharge equal to 10% of income tax payable by individuals having an annual income of 50 lakhs to 1 crore rupees and 15% of income tax by individuals having an annual income greater than 1 crore rupees